Alright guys, I'm sorry my camera's been cutting out like in the middle of my um, tutorials. It's not that the battery dies or that I'm out of memory, it just stops recording for some reason. Um, I'm really sorry, I'll try and figure that out and fix it right away. Um, but today I'm here to show you a smoky eye tutorial. Um, this is kind of really my everyday look. Um, I love dramatic smoky eyes and I love chiseled cheeks and um, so uh, I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. <laughs> Alright so we've already primed our face and I'm going to use a damp sponge and I'm using the Maybelline Fit uh, foundation in the color 220 and um, I usually just apply it onto the back of my hand and then dip the sponge into it. <laughs> So I like to spread it across my face and then as soon as I'm done, I'll start stippling it to kind of just help me get more of an airbrushed look. And now I'm going to use my um, under eye concealer. It's the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer in the number 210. And um, I like to kind of spread it down from my under eye also because it really just brightens the face and gives a little bit of an awake look. And uh, that's always good when you have a uh, little to no sleep. <laughs> and um, now I'm going to set everything with um, Elf's Mineral Booster. It's just a kind of pretty much almost a translucent, very sheer um, powder that has very, very fine um, shimmering particles in it. And it, uh, I just love it. It adds a beautiful glow, especially when you step out into the sun. It's not, you know, chunky sparkles or, or anything like that. It just adds this beautiful glow. Now for my eyes, I'm going to prime them this time with Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Um, it really kind of just seals in any veins or um, uh, red or blue tones you have on your eyelid. And now we're going to go in with my Naked Palette uh, from Urban Decay. Um, and we're going to start off with the color Virgin. And we're just going to place that onto the inner third of the lid. And uh, now I'm going to use Sin, which is a really nice, um, shimmery, light pink toned uh, eyeshadow. And uh, we're going to pat that all over the rest of the lid, blending it slightly into the inner corner. And um, now I'm going to go in with uh, Dark Horse and place that just kind of like into the uh, socket of your eye, but also all the way to the inner corner. You want to really kind of contour your eye. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush now just to blend it together and blend it out so we don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm just going to take um, a little bit stiffer of a fluffy brush just so I can um, blend it out a little bit more. Um, the stiffer the brush, I, I find the better the blend. <laughs> um, now I'm just going to take a little bit of the um, black, which is called Creep in the palette, and just intensify the outer corners a little bit.
Now I'm going to take the same colors we did on the eyelid and repeat the same process onto the lower lash line um, with just a small brush. Um, I'm placing the uh, sin, the color sin on the inner corner and the dark horse color, which is the dark brown, onto the uh, outer. Alright, now I'm going to use um, my eyeliner, which is the gel uh, liner from MAC. It's Fluid Line Black Track. I am absolutely in love with this stuff. I don't think I've used a liquid liner or a pencil liner. Well, I mean, I use a pencil liner for my waterline, but I don't think I've used anything but gel liner on my lids since high school. <laughs> And then we're just going to water, uh, sorry, <laughs> line our waterline um, with a pencil liner. And I'm using the Revlon Color Matte uh, Coal Eyeliner Pencil. And it's just in um, black colors, black truffle. All right. I think the hardest part of that look is just making sure the eyeliner is even. <laughs> we're going to curl our lashes. We've got mascara on. And um, now I'm going to take my brow powder. Um, I think uh, lining and filling in your brows really um, sets your face shape. Uh, it really defines your face and your features. Um, but I'm using my Anastasia uh, Brow Duo Palette in the color Brunette. I'm just using the darkest color to fill in my brows. I like the powder a lot better than a pencil. It just gives more of a natural look rather than a, a harsh edged look. Now I'm going to contour uh, my cheekbones with the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And I do that with the same brush that I use to set my face powder. I find it just a lot more um, airbrushed look like there's not such harsh lines it blends very smoothly with a larger brush rather than like a small angled blush brush or anything like that and of course we want to be sure to always blend into the hairline um, and also you know under the jaw and down the neck just to really kind of not only give you a bronze look, but also to just um, contour and blend. Um, for my cheeks, I am using the NARS Orgasm Blonde uh, Blush, <laughs> sorry, and um, just using the other side of the same face brush, tapping it onto my cheekbones, kind of like where you would place um, a highlighter. And for my lips, I am using Nicely Nude by e.l.f. And the lip gloss is by NYX, and it's in the color Whipped, which is number 28. And that is our look. I hope you liked it. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you'll be able to use it. Um, if you do, be sure to post pictures and video responses. If you do, I'd love to see it. Um, but yeah, uh, stay tuned because I've got a lot more videos coming including the one where my husband does my makeup. That should be interesting. But, um, yeah, so be sure to look out for those. All right, guys, have a great day, and remember to smile because that's what makes you most beautiful. Bye.